Nicole Sanderson. And they've uh, formed a potent, effective partnership. Sanderson, as you can see, is tall and dynamic at the net. They're up against the Americans. Wearing number one is Kerry Walsh. And her partner is the slightly better known Misty May. But Kerry Walsh, another very tall player, another net specialist, great blocker. 189 centimeters tall. That's tall. That's six foot two plus. And Misty May, well known around the world in beach volleyball circles one of the most successful female athletes in the history of the sport 26 years of age we're going to pick up the action at the start of the second set the first set won by the americans 21 19 the start of the second set natalie cook serving misty may coming forward and just pats that beyond the reach of the blocker time to look pick a spot and find the sand rally scoring remember so so uh, that's a point every play equals a point cook sets and sanderson finds the target So one is even at the start of the second set. Nicole Sanderson to serve. 21-19 to the Australians in the first set. <laughs> 2 1 to the American pair. Kerry Walsh serving. Sanderson puts it forward and follows it up. Huge amount of power in that delivery. Big swing she's got. And that was never coming back. Two points all. They're just trading points at the top of this second set. There's the signal. Clench fist. Index finger pointing down. That's the answer. That's what the request was. Well defended by Natalie Cook. Can she finish the point? That looked like it was going out. Kerry Walsh decided to play it. It was a, an instinctive thing to do. Just stuck her arm in the way. But I think that may have been going wide. Australia leading by three points to two in this second set. And by one set to love. Sanderson with time, that's a... Oh, that was a, a let-off for the Australians. That set went flying straight over the net. Cook getting a hand in the way, and then that was the shot that was designed to be a step, set that flew straight into the path of uh, Walsh, who flapped at it. Australians leading by four points to two. That was in. It was a, a close call, but it did hit the line. That's four points to three, and after each seven-point segment, the teams change ends. Oh, boy, that was close. Misty May to serve. Trading three, four, and a set down. Cook pushes it forward. That's what Sanderson is so good at. The fast, fierce spike delivery. She really unleashed that one. Good effort by Misty May to put it back into play, but the ball dropped wide of the line. Cook and Sanderson with a two-point advantage in control of this second set. Sanderson serves. The Americans coming forward now, looking for a way through. That's good play by the Olympic champion. But the Australians no match for the power on that finishing spike from Kerry Walsh. Look at the height she gets above the net. Climbing majestically and Sanderson just watched it fly past. 
the USA getting closer 4-5 Walsh serves Sanderson Cook Sanderson comes to the front brilliant finish two points ahead again 5-4 to 6-4 two point advantage required to win each of the sets Nicole Sanderson Australians leading by six points to four here's May and then Walsh finishes off the point after May failed at the first attempt the reflex block from Sanderson but she couldn't get there the second time of asking so now it's down to Misty May to try and get them back level with the Australians 5-6 Cook coming forward, good finish from the Australian. Natalie Cook, the Olympic champion on Bondi Beach in the year 2000 with Kerry Potast on that occasion. Potast has retired, she's been replaced by Nicole Sanderson who is about to serve. 7-5, the Aussies lead. Sanderson, big jump serve. The Americans scurry forward looking for the winning point. And I think that landed out. See it in slow motion. It was Misty May who played the final stroke. No, it was in. It was called good. 6-7. Puts it up for Sanderson. Sanderson ensures that there was an American hand on that to give the Australians the point. And they once again stretch their lead to two points. 8-6 the score. Cook and Sanderson took the first set quite comfortably. And now they lead by two in the second. This for a place in the World Championship final. The Swatch FIVB Beach Volleyball World Championships. You're watching it here on Eurosport from Copacabana Beach in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. As the American team of Misty May and Kerry Walsh try and find a way through past this tough Australian pair this time they do and it's eight points to seven in favor of the Australian subtle touch from Misty May and Cook couldn't get anywhere near it she is such a tiger around the court Natalie Cook but that was just beyond her in the wet squelching sand following the downpour that they've suffered here in Copacabana over the last couple of hours it's a dry for the moment and it's cool which the players will enjoy that was a pretty cool finish from Natalie Cook 9-7 two points ahead Sanderson to serve free point for the Americans they can't afford to gift the American pair too many because they'll climb all over them Kerry Walsh looking calm and composed as usual one point required to level this second set and that was a lucky one to say the very least Cook just got her hands in the way and they all stood rooted to the spot as the ball flew back for a winner Ten eight, the Australians lead. The Americans coming forward now, and that one was right on the line from Misty May. First to twenty one points with a two clear point advantage in the first two sets. The decider, if it goes that far, will be first to fifteen. Ten nine, the Australians lead. They're receiving now. Sanderson for Cook. The return to Sanderson. And she finds a way through. Nicole Sanderson, a real force at the net. And now it's her turn to serve. Just uh, waiting for the right moment. Oh, that's two missed serves from Nicole Sanderson. One into the net. And that one beyond the back line. And she's been encouraged to maintain her concentration by... Natalie Cook, it's 11-10, and the Americans looking strong on this particular point. They've got time. Misty May coming forward and finding the line. Good point for the Americans, they're level. 
for the first time in this second set. Eleven points all. Kerry Walsh to serve. Well, they're all at it. Two from Sanderson and then one from Kerry Walsh to return the compliment. Three point for Australia. 12-11 they lead. Walsh needs to forget about that and just concentrate on what's coming ahead. And here comes Misty May on a charge forward. And that one was wide. 13-11, the Americans have handed the initiative back to their opponents. Two points clear now, Cook and Sanderson, 13-11. Natalie Cook to serve. Yeah, that was a different play from the Americans with Kerry Walsh setting behind her. Misty May following up and finding the corner. 13-12. The two Californians edge ever closer. Cook sets for Sanderson and Sanderson scores. 14-12. Once again, two points clear. That's crucial. Sanderson able to climb incredibly high and with such a great swing as well Kerry Walsh a study in concentration as she waits to receive this next serve from Sanderson she puts it up for May who returns it but that wasn't a great set oh she was lucky Natalie Cook was in a good position to block the block didn't go her way and the Americans slightly get away with that one it wasn't a brilliant set from Misty May it's 14-13 Walsh with a different serve, just thumping that one straight down towards her opponents, and that was a good block. Perfectly timed from Misty May. Single-handed block. Stared her opponent out, watched exactly what her opponent was doing, and met the shot. That's experience that give her, gives her such great timing. They're level again at 14 points all. Can the Americans get the upper hand? Not by smacking the serve into the net. Sanderson is guilty, was guilty of it earlier. Now it's uh, Kerry Walsh who's got the same problem. Can Natalie Cook steady the Australian chip at 15-14? There's the signal. It's a good serve. Here comes Misty May. Cook returns it directly to her opponent. And Walsh has another attempt at the finish. This one works. And the Americans lead the second set by 15 points to 14. That is the first time they've been ahead in this second set. Now, can they ride the momentum through to level the match at one set all? Cook sets for Sanderson. Sanderson pushes it wide. Cook goes for the tip. But the ball trickles along the tape and down back on Australian sand. Agonizingly so for the Australians. The Americans are two points in. Uh, uh, two points in. I thought it was 16 14, but it's 16 15 according to the scoreline. The score. The scoreboard has uh, been a little bit uh, cranky this week, is the best description. It has uh, changed its mind on one or two occasions, so. But we'll go with it for the moment. 16 points all. Sanderson serves. Off the top of the net. Here's the set. Here's Misty May. The Australians have control and have the point. Good reaction. Defensive dig from Nicole Sanderson to set up the finish. Excellent teamwork. Australians lead again, 17-16. The Americans in a good position. That's a very good set and a great finish from Kerry Walsh.
17 all first to 21 in this second set if we go to a decider it'll be first to 15 two clear points required Walsh serves oh and Cook can't get there instead of moving her feet and running towards the ball she seemed to just tumble forwards in an effort to dig it up it didn't work for her here it is again it's uncharacteristic of Natalie Cook she's normally so quick around the court They've changed ends again here's Cook looking to make amends and she does so Well, the Australian pair certainly enjoyed that one. Here's Misty May coming forward. Oh, good reflex shot from May. She has another chance. This time she converts the opportunity. Great reactions. And then that gave uh, Walsh the chance to set her partner once again. And this time May made no mistake. And the Americans are ahead by 19 points to 18. They need two more to level the match at one set all. Here comes Sanderson. This is a great oh no, that's going low. Oh my word. I'm amazed that Natalie Cook played that. It was going out. And the Americans are staying in the rally and they could still win the point desperate play on both sides of the court and the Americans take the point and they move to set point at 2018 what an extraordinary rally and I wonder if Natalie Cook will be secretly kicking herself for playing that ball that was uh, destined to land behind the back line she had her feet on the back line when she played it Set point to the USA. Plenty of communication. The Americans a point away from squaring this semi final. The serve is good. Cook sets it up. And Cook for the finish. She makes it count but they're still set point down, the Australians. Sanderson's turn to serve, 19-20. Makes it count, that's the crucial thing, but here comes Misty May, and Misty May squares the match for the USA. It's one set all here at Copacabana Beach. The Australians were in control of that set right up until 17 all. And then a couple of uh, breaks for the USA gave them the upper hand. And that was the way they sealed the second set. Welcome back to a normally sun-drenched Copacabana beach. It's a little bit soggy today and the Australian spirits have been slightly dampened by failing to convert that second set it's level pegging here in this world championship semi-final between Nicole Sarnison and Natalie Cook of Australia and Kerry Walsh and Misty May of the United States and that's the first point of the final set to the USA the faintest of touches just to help it on its way that's all it required with the clenched fingers from Kerry Walsh and Misty May serves for the second time good play from Natalie Cook the overhead kept the Australians in that rally point goes to the USA and the Australians are off to a sluggish start in this deciding set Misty May jump serve here's Cook 
First points of the third set to Australia. Couldn't come quickly enough. Natalie Cook finishing it off with that savage spike, which Misty May did well to make any contact with at all. And Cook now serves at one-two, the Olympic champion. May stumbles but recovers her footing to get back to the net. Cook covering the ground fast. Sanderson has to put it over now. It's found the back of the court. The Americans regroup and come forward. And the block fails from Nicole Sanderson. Cook covering the sand so quickly. That's typical of her. That block uh, eventually struck Sanderson on the visor. The Americans with a two-point cushion now. First of 15 in this decider. 3-1, they change points after each five-point segment of play. Oh, Sanderson opening her shoulders with that one. The return almost hit the target, but that's another point for the Australians. Look at Sanderson really putting some venom into that spike. 2-3. Natalie Cook knows that they have to maintain total concentration and convert every opportunity that comes their way. They've missed a couple of chances. The Americans have capitalized. Now a stern look on the face of Nicole Sarnison as she serves that one in. Misty May looking for the finish and finds the sideline. Total accuracy from Misty May. Look at this shot. Absolutely perfect. Just inside the line. Sanderson just watched it whiz by. 4-2 USA, Misty May to serve. Over it goes, Cook with a scrappy reception. Now she comes to finish off the point and does so effectively. And the Americans close the gap to one point now. As the drizzle continues to come down and make things a, a little damp out here on the beach this afternoon. Here's Misty May again, and the finish was uh, a good one. I thought for a moment there was an Australian hand on that, but it was the net, in fact. So that went out, that's an Australian point, and they're back all square in the final set. Four points all. Walsh and May coming forward, held ball at the net. And the point goes to the USA, despite the protests of Nicole Sanderson claiming that the Americans had touched the net. She was shouting at the referee before the point was finished. The Americans didn't touch the net, it was the ball that touched the net. Natalie Cook down in the sand. Touch ball, they both don't play touch. No, 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 no. Touch ball, they both time. And now it's uh, Natalie Cook's turn to remonstrate with the first referee. The Americans remaining calm. They lead by a single point, five to four. And Kerry Walsh will serve. She's been composed throughout this match. The serve counts. Sanderson puts it up. Cook returns the favour. Sanderson comes forward. The American hand means that that is an Australian point. Change of ends. Ten points played. the tip of Kerry Walsh's middle finger making contact with that as Misty May keeps her eye firmly on the ball Misty May putting it back up for Kerry Walsh and Kerry Walsh with a chance to glance and see where the available sand was there was plenty of space at the back of the court and she guided that ball right into it Six points to five, the Americans one ahead. Misty May floats that over. Sanderson, Cook, and Cook makes it count. Level again in the final set, Natalie Cook serving. Kerry Walsh puts it up for Misty May, Cook gathers it up Cook will finish it off no she won't the Americans have time they've regrouped and Misty May what a block from Sanderson 
No wonder they're celebrating. That was a great reflex block from the taller of the two Australian players. Misty May seldom misses those, but it came off the forearm of Sanderson and landed on the American sand. The Australians are ahead for the first time in the deciding set. Here's Misty May with another chance. This time, Sanderson's block doesn't work. Misty May changing direction. Sold Sanderson a great dummy there. Seven points each. And Sanderson is beginning to get into the groove now. A couple of good blocks, one or two fine finishes. Subtle change of swing there, and she slowed the ball down, took the pace off it, guided it to a winning area of the court, and the Australians lead again. The Americans in discussion, planning their next strategic move. Cook and Sarnison one point ahead, staring out their opponents. Sanderson will serve, it has to count, it does. May puts it towards Wall, she returns it. And that was easy. Good play from the Americans, they had that one well and truly worked out. Perfect set from Kerry Walsh. And Misty May didn't even have to look. She knew when that left her fingertips where that ball was going. Now it's eight all. Sanderson coming forward. Sanderson thumps down that spike. Wonderful timing. Australians leading 9-8. Here comes Misty May again. Always a danger. Oh. And... Once again, she shows great accuracy. Nine points all in the deciding set here at the World Championship semi-final. Copacabana Beach, Cook back on court. Walsh to serve. And Sanderson dispatches that with real authority. Australia leading by 10 points to nine, and that has brought the smile back to Natalie Cook's face. As Nicole Sanderson and Kerry Walsh eye each other up. Misty May is the receiver. Misty May coming forward. Sanderson's done well. Cook should have done better. And the net result is that the Americans steal a point which they really didn't deserve. Cook should have put this one away. No, not that shot, the one before it. That was Misty May's finish. That's where she's so strong. That was the one that Cook should have made count. And it was Kerry Walsh who found the sand. It's 10 all. Possible to call at this stage. The Australians wait for the serve to arrive. Sanderson cooked down on her knees. Sanderson fires that one to the sideline. And the Aussies are ahead again. Natalie Cook to serve. 11-10 the Australians lead. Good return from Cook, but it's flown out of court. Good effort to get her hands in the way. It's a point for the Americans. They're level once again. Cook is very much the all-round player. Sanderson, I think, possibly has great power, just maybe lacks a little bit of refinement. Early stages in their partnership, of course. Sanderson puts it up for Cook, and Sanderson showing that power. Walsh may have just got a finger to it. Oh 
Cook and Sanderson three points away from the final. 12-11. Misty May absolutely focused on the next point. May puts it up for Walsh. Walsh chips it forward. Great finish from May. She's so dangerous, potent in that position. And her emotions do not change. Her face remains the same throughout the match. Australians swap from smiles to, to grimaces, but May is constant. And she serves now at 12 all. Walsh gives the Americans the upper hand here. The Australians now with time. Sanderson must finish this. Oh, she got away with it. And she knows it. That was a, a blow of the cheeks which said relief. Because that wasn't a great finish. And I think had uh, Walsh left it, Misty May had it covered and the Americans would have been in the point still. As it is, it's 13-12 in favour of Australia. And they serve. Walsh looking for a good set. Here's May. Good effort from Sanderson on the other side of the net from her partner as she attempted to play that one. Cook attempting to absorb all the pace from the ball, but it was a lost cause by then. 13 points all. Two straight points for either side will put them in the final. It'll be the Americans to serve. Kerry Walsh. Here's Natalie Cook. It wasn't a great set. Oh, she got away with it. She had to arch her back and lean backwards to meet that ball. As Natalie Cook asks the Brazilian crowd to get behind her and her partner. And they are now at match point. Cook and Sanderson serving for a place in the final. Walsh. Oh, yes. Crucial delivery from Kerry Walsh. And a great set under immense pressure from Misty May. Now they're level again at 14 all. They need a two-point clear advantage, remember. Brazilians uh, showing... Definite anti-American sentiment out here on the court, and that was called out. Well, uh, was it? There was a... Uh... Yeah, it was right on the line. And uh, a few words exchanged between Natalie Cook and her opponents. Match point again from the Australians. Can the Americans level it? Yes, they can. Misty May, consistent as ever. Totally reliable in that position coming forward to play the finishing shot. And they're back to level in the final set. 15 points all as Kerry Walsh tries to block out the boos and jeers from the crowd. Here's Cook pushing her opponent forward. Oh! off the shoulder from Natalie Cook and off the net and out from Natalie Cook and what a turnaround the Australians had two match points a little off the shoulder number there from Natalie Cook they all count of course but the finish was woeful the crowd don't like it but the Americans are serving for the match Sanderson has to make this one connect and she's well, there's a discussion about what's going on. The Americans thought it was a winning point for them. There was an American hand on it. Match continues. 16 points all. Sanderson serves. Walsh puts it up for May. May will surely make this one count, and she does, despite the best efforts. And the attentions of Natalie Cook at the net. That rolled off her fingertips. Another inch required, and it would have gone back to the American side of the court. It's the second match point for the USA now. The Australians have had two and squandered two. This is the second opportunity 
for the Americans. The serve is solid. Owen Sanderson misses the set. It has to cross now. And it's out. A sloppy finish from the Australians. Starting with that poor defensive shot from Nicole Sanderson. And an even worse finish. Beyond the back line. And Misty May and Kerry Walsh begin to celebrate. They will be in the final and their opponents will be either Adriana Bear and Shelda, the Brazilians, the big favourites here, the crowd are going to get right behind them, or another American pair, Jenny Johnson Jordan and Annette Davis. And you can find out which one of those will go through because that match is coming up after the break here on Eurosport. Stay with us.